We back with another one. Make sure y'all hit that sub button. Make sure y'all like, share this video. Hey, look. I ain't gonna even lie, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. Um, we know the Dolph case been messed up since the beginning. We know the ball been dropped since the beginning. Mr. Goldman has been back in court. I don't know how many times, but he violated the conditions of his parole, probation, whatever they got him on, whatever it is. Been back, he been back, he been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, in and out, in and out, back, forth, back, forth, whatever, whatever, right? Okay, cool. My whole thing is this, man. Jamarcus said, my brother shot Young Dog. Jamarcus said they got the money from Unc. Now, it's a problem with the Young Dolph case. And I'm going to tell y'all what the problem is. If Cornelius was supposed to be the driver, straight drive was the shooter, and we know three people was there. That means you got a whole shooter missing, and this one shooter is either dead or enjoying life. Cause what do we know? The 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 other shooter, I don't think I don't think it was Cornelius. They trying to say it is. I don't think it was. Um, and I don't think it was Mr. Govan either. But this is my problem with this whole Govan situation, right? Look how long it's been, and we don't even know what the hell he did yet. We don't know. They say Mr. Govan masterminded this whole thing. Mr. Govan lawyer says he's not going to talk, negotiate, set a deal, do nothing to after Cornelius and Straight Drop is sentenced. My question is, how the hell do you get that privilege? Like, how the hell do you get to decide that? If you was the mastermind behind the killing the young Dolph, how is it that you get to decide? I'm gonna talk on when I'm when I want to talk. I'm a, I'm a, whatever I want to say. I'm gonna say it, but I gotta wait to see what y'all do with them, and then that's when I'm gonna say what I want to say. That don't even make sense to me. That don't even add up. Remember, this is a murder case. Now they didn't kick Mr. Coffee, the judge Coffee. They kicked him off the case. The straight drop put out that doodle song over the phone, and he took away his prone phone privileges. And you know what they came back and told Mr. Coffee? You being too hard on straight drop. It's saying like you got a personal vendetta against him. We got to get you off this case. So they took him off. But I'm finna let y'all hear what just happened in court with uh Govan and uh straight drop brother Jamarcus. Side, Hernandez Govan and Jamarcus Johnson stood before Judge Jennifer Mitchell in court Thursday morning. Both are out on bond. Both of you have uh, bond conditions that you both need to be aware that you are in compliance with. Govan is accused of hiring Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith to shoot and kill a young Dolph back in 2021. The motive has yet to be revealed. Earlier this year, Jamarcus Johnson pleaded guilty to helping Justin, his brother, evade police after the murder. Prosecutors say Jamarcus played no role in the actual shooting and killing of the beloved rapper. Jamarcus has not been sentenced pending the trial date of his co-defendants. Their disposition is tied to the trial defendants. Uh, so what we have been doing is resetting them about on 45-day increments uh, and continuing their supervision. In court, the judge made an addition to Govan's supervision requirements. Does Mr. Govan do drugs training? I, I know he's not supervised by pretrial. He, and he, I know pretrial does screens. 
He does not. He's under basically home arrest. Yeah. But Along with house arrest, Govan is now required to complete random drug screenings once a month during the remainder of his case. His attorney, Handel Durham Jr., has told WREG they won't be seeking a resolution until after Justin Johnson's and Cornelius Smith's trial, which is set for this coming March. At the time, Durham said there were no plans for Govan to testify against either of his co-defendants. Reporting from 201, Kwame Drew Wilborn, W. Yeah, so y'all heard that. Govan ain't saying nothing <laughs> or none of that until after he see what happened to Straight Drop and Cornelius. That makes no sense to me at all. So now they saying he was supposed to be the one that hired them to. Now, I'm not the smartest person in the world, but Shouldn't the damn mastermind get more time than people that actually did the crime? Look, man, it's obvious. <laughs> like, it, it's just so obvious, bruh. Somebody really want this case to go their way, the way that they want it to go. I don't know who. I can't say who. Too many twists, too many turns, bruh. Too much back to court for nothing. Okay, so put it to you like this, right? Y'all see the judge. Now, remember, Jamarcus is on the same thing Govan is on. They both they both out on their little bonds or whatever, right? So why didn't the judge turn around and say, Jamarcus need to do the drug screening, yada, yada, yada? She ain't do that. But 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 for no reason, ain't nobody said like why or nothing. Out of nowhere, she say he need to have random drug screening. Where the hell that come from? You see what I'm saying? It's something wrong. <laughs> like so, y'all feel like so. What you saying is y'all feel like. Having him on this murder, y'all don't feel like y'all got enough. So because y'all feel like y'all don't got enough, now y'all trying to get him like, oh, if he fail one of these drug drops, then he got to come back to jail where well, we going to hold him. But my whole thing is this, and I ain't going to lie to you. For as long as Jamarcus been on out on bond, and for as long as Govan been, out on bond, bro, I ain't gonna lie. At this point, what's really the sense of them even going to jail? The only two people that's locked up is Cornelius and Straight Drop, and I still feel like Cornelius was just a driver and Straight Drop and somebody else was the other shooter. We just don't know who, because either that other shooter dead or they living their life. But I don't think it was Mr. Govan, but I don't think it was Cornelius either. That's just how I'm looking at that. But somebody spending a whole lot of money. Because when you ever seen a judge kicked off a murder case, what he did to straight drop wasn't even that bad. He just took his phone privileges away because the song was trash and it was doo-doo. I felt them. I would have did the same thing. It was only right. But that wasn't no reason to kick that man off this trial. Now we got this black lady on this trial. And she like, Random drug screen. Now it's supposed to start in March. Maybe in March, we'll find out what we need to know or the stuff that makes sense. No, we're not going to find out in March, though. You know why we ain't going to find out in March? Because Govan not even finna say his part until after the sentencing of Straight Drop and Cornelius. That's why Young Dolph Wife some people say it's his wife, girlfriend, baby mama, whoever, whatever y'all want to call her. That's why she spoke out. That's why she been crying like crazy. That's why she been going, uh, that's why she been going crazy. You know why? Because even she feel like this ain't no real justice for Dolph. It ain't. It makes no sense. Okay. Straight Drop was one of the shooters. Okay. It was way more to it than that. 
way more. And they trying to bypass a lot of stuff that we obviously seen didn't make no sense. So Dolph couldn't run to the back of the stove. Dolph couldn't get to the back of the stove. Couldn't nobody help Dolph to the back of the stove. When they when they pulled up, when they got there, why was Dolph already on the ground? What had Dolph on the ground at first? From the images that we seen and showed in the video, them pointing where they shooting at, where they started shooting at, was at the ground. I showed y'all the video of the cookie shop. There was no bullets at the top of the cookie shop. In fact, the top glass and all that of the cookie shop was still intact. All the shooting was at the bottom of the cookie shop. None of this stuff is getting explained. Then, who from inside the cookie shop is a witness? Then, if y'all, if you would say whoever was in the cookie shop could have got killed too, why is there no attempt murder charge? It's solely only made about young Dolph. But if those people was innocent, and I ain't trying to say they had nothing to do with it, but if they was innocent, wouldn't that make them victims? Wouldn't those be attempt murders? It is what it is, man. They got away with it once, they gonna get away with it again. Y'all get in the comment box and let me know what y'all think about this whole Young Dolph situation. Crazy. The boy boot, I'm out.